down. Wow. It is lovely to see all the families. There's a lot of karma in the room. There's a lot of positivity in the room. And it's great to see everybody enjoying themselves in these beautiful surroundings. So, Gurumila Margot Michal, Gurumila Margot Sabina, Asocht on Kura, on invitation more, a Hortka Muintana Heron, Tsak Gazi on Tsak Starul Shah. And without further ado, he is the far on tea. Would you please welcome to say a few words, Uchtra on the Michael D. Higgins! Erin Gaitel Shesses Minlam, Firkin Fulcha, Ara Ruiv Ilyuk. Er mahan hein is a son of Van Kalil Saivin. You know, we make a stucked le hector, we see simul, you know, quivening, you know, quivening to air on top of the top wind, let our jang hein and grille. Aknak inta con rade, gorev na hosna who goose the radio de, or is a cohorehe, coursey, telefish, or is coursey documentary. On Queen is fatal a dinner mar hector, dull a art and down. As near one, a young a fain a lart, a gaspe come a sucker, is come in male and was in root of the way of course the tech no lirte. A cominic of the mere fair canter, a gas a she a shas of a la a mass nadini fain, a fimo in an oil in an oil of fain. August and sprint a wind shirt son or son. How often I have seen Hector. And I said it, I was thinking about when I see those places that, that he mentioned. Could there be a better person representing Ireland, a person who is proud of his own language, but more than that has been able to infect so many other languages? But when he goes into those villages that he went in and the rest of it, and life in a village is a life that has tragedy and a life that has joy. And the one thing is, we share a comes for her a lorne in a He was immediately in a wonderful way in the middle of everything. And that is our Hector. And more importantly as well, when I was speaking very particularly in relation to the which is so much which he has hit on there in a, in a way. Our future Ireland, an Ireland that will be making a contribution in sustainability and in relation to ending hunger and all of these things uh, that are very right, is one as will we be doing more and more in cooperation with the people of the Pacific and of Africa and South America and Asia and so forth. And it was the way I thought it would be making your clear. When I remember when somebody was describing, after a time I had come back my, uh, myself from Central America, and when somebody said about the, the funeral of Archbishop Romero, he said, El bispoca anda con la gente. The bishop who walked with his people. And that is what is great diplomacy. That's what great foreign policy. That's what's great Irishness, in my view, to have that kind of approach that Hector is having in relation to all of his work. And I must say, on my behalf and on behalf of Sabina, when she entered, when she entered, when she vimeko hasakson kaglashleshen kure, I am so pleased that he accepted our invitation uh, to be uh, in charge of matters this evening. I know that there are very many of you who have been here this evening, and even you know this is the way I sometimes work on my speeches, and that is that a point occurs to me often very, very, very late. I, for example, uh, changed the name of today's uh, uh, party very deliberately. It had been originally families and their diversity. And I said it really, I prefer it to be families in their diversity and friendships. Because it is an interesting thing in the history of the family and the history of the world that the family was used to transfer property. But of course, the family is about something much more, and therefore, one's moral concern should never be bounded by family only, because there is a world we're living in and our relationship to nature. And there are the friendships within family, 
and the friendships that flow over the boundaries of family. So today we're celebrating families in all their diversity and friendships and the importance of it. Many of you have travelled very, 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 very long ways. And all I can say is it's great to think about it. Well, here we are in 2023 in the home of the Presidents of Ireland since 1938. And I hope that all of you have a wonderful... He has a right, you know, in many, many ways. We have to be able to... We have to be able to rise to the thing as well. And I hope that you enjoy every aspect of your visit to what Oris and Uthron. We've had a number of garden parties and different themes, but why we picked this one, on Tovul which I'm very interested in myself. Aristotle, giving advice to his son Telemachus, said to him, the most important thing of all is friendship, because there is no limit to the justice that you attach to friendship. And families are so important, and very much the texture of our lives experience are about great arrivals, if you like, and how it makes such a great, 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 great arrival. And Sabina and I, for example, were so pleased to announce just a few days, just to say, because the announcement has yet to be made by those responsible, our daughter, our daughter Alice Mary Higgins and her husband Ken, to say that we were delighted that we have a new grandson and that we were very, 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 very pleased. But the history of Ireland is about families moving. When people speak, for example, of the families of her first to immigrate, the families we lost, uh, to the famine and so forth, and the joy of returning families and the joy of making new families and new friendships, and how Ireland is being so enriched every day by all the new cultural contributions we are getting that, that are going to be so important. There are very, very many families we must never forget because I remember when I was out at only recently at Richmond Barracks speaking about a family resource centre. Families are not equal in their resources. In a republic, they should be. But families need resources, and I want to pay tribute to both the state and the non-state organisations that are coming to the help of families who do need, who do need that help. As I said, none of us should put Thoranaka boundaries around what is the extension of our concern. And I think there are so many of those organisations, I think that we hope that you enjoy your visit to us here. I want to give a very special welcome uh, to families who are newly settled across our country. You're all so welcome. I hope that you feel safe, comfortable, settled in your know, more important, that you understand that your positive contribution to this being appreciated and however long you wish to stay. I often wrote in the past about the concept of home, how important it is. Home is more than shelter and home is certainly much more than a building. For example, the tent that a refugee family have is for them a home. For others, it is a suitcase. But I think it's important for us all to have in our minds on a day like today, as we're celebrating families and celebrating friendships, World Refugee Day, and the plight of so many of the displaced and migrants are currently facing. We can't switch on for an hour or two on the appalling tragedy that happened in relation to Greece, because we know that it's happening again and again and again, and only a global approach to migration will solve that. And I repeat again what I said at an earlier garden party. Our choice is, is actually to set up prisons in the adjoining areas all around our Europe and try and confine people to it, or to be humanitarians and take on the responsibility, something that we should be proud of, something that Ireland has already such a great record of, as people willing to contribute to a global response, to a global problem, world's migration. And the advantage is that it can be done. I recently published a paper 
that showed what a world bond issue between the, world, the, IM, the IMF, the World Bank and others. You could finance everything in relation to first responses to migration and repay the bonds between at most 10 years and most likely five years. So we, we must all work together to say it isn't about keeping people out. It is about, in fact, our world that has, and in fact, the, the whole question of climate change, of conflicts, of all that is happening. We know it's going to happen. We know where it's going to happen. We have the resources and we can put in place all the necessary preparations to be able to do this without panic and in a managed way that will give us the best days, if we want to do it, of our United Nations. I think today, as we meet in our interdependent, interconnected world, let us remember all those families who have been displaced by conflict, natural disasters, climate change, families who may be grieving or recalling a lost member. But now for this afternoon, for all the Nathran on the cleaner for all those families who have travelled from every corner of Ireland to be with us here in Oris or Nicron, I enjoy you to enjoy every facet of the village. We am tall and when I'm we've been fairly lucky with the weather so far, but please feel free to fill any aspect of your visit with happiness and Maragotchefain, fun and laughter. It gives us great pleasure to celebrate what we have here with you. We have special guests here this afternoon. For example, Adam King. Adam made such an important contribution to our collective mental health during the recent COVID pandemic, capturing the hearts of the nation with his virtual hug. And it's important, an abrazo, and it's important message about our human need for connection. I very much want to welcome Hassan and Hussein Ben Travis for their and their family. And I have a very special person sitting at my table. Somebody on whose case for rights I worked on for at least eleven years. Donald Rushda, who had to wait thirty-five years, who had to wait fifty-three years for an apology for his unfair dismissal not in, the, in accordance with law from the Irish Defence Forces, Firkin Forge, Rotas, Dachlanes, Iliog, Agonal. I think that we have many, there are many different, to all of you, I just want to say this, is that we have many opportunities now, and I think that the great challenge facing us all in a very, very positive way, is to make sure that all of these opportunities are perceived as universal basic rights. What we, in fact, would like to see everybody in Ireland have, what we would like to see the people in the world have and to share. I think as well, I want to say this, legislation was announced which will come into being in the next few weeks about a dreadful time when people had to leave Ireland because they were not free to express their sexuality. It has been said now that all those bogus convictions, for example, for same-sex relations between men can now be wiped out. But in the old days, Emmet Stagg and I used to go on the second week of every Christmas. We used to go over to visit England. And when you looked at the, all the different wonderful places who were providing a home, by helping and everything, the saddest, hardest people were those people who had been forced to live in, on their own in rooms and grow old away from their own country, based on an ignorance and a prejudice and a hate that should never have been. For many of them, it will be too late. But there is a lesson in it all. That is, in many ways, is when you see bigotry, stamp it out immediately. And when you see people trying to invent bogus pieces of no, there was never any justification uh, for that law. But what there was too often, a kind of a quiet quiescence of a people afraid and cowed after famine and occupation and imperialism, to open their mouths and say, this is all wrong. This shouldn't be happening. So let us draw courage to, and that is always to say, don't hold the Mishnah back. When it is necessary, you must do that. It is summertime. The weather 
It's good enough now. Well, if we can slit here, and I think that the commands of our daily life, as we emerge from the pandemic, we learned good things, maybe. There's, there were good things we could do together. There were people who came out on verandas and they sang songs and people did yoga and there were people who had thought that they weren't able to dance and they were well able to dance and all of that kind of thing. But most importantly of all, something magnificent was happening and this is our great future. More and more in all generations, people were respecting Mother Nature and I think that that is what is going to be so, so restoring our relationship with nature and with others and with the world and doing so because we believe in values rather than interests and that's all very very encouraging and the person to just blast that off in no uncertain way is of course Hector Hogan and he'll be introducing to you some musicians you've heard already David O'Connor the Dublin Ukulele Collective Martina Rosario O'Connell and I think one is with Sophie Nibuelon, Fintan Burns, the Swing Cats, Cuckoo's Nest, John Spillan and the Pearly Whites, and of course our earlier entertainers, the Fanzini Brothers and the Balloon Modellers, Denise and Chloe. We couldn't do any of this if it hadn't been for the staff you see standing around in many cases. We just own Krieg. Locked on on ours. I so want to thank you all of the staff here at the Oris for their work. John of God, who always help us out. The Gordy, Civil Defence, the Office of Public Works. In Buenchanavas and Ranona, Agus near Wand and Ranona, Don Tawaki, Ilia Catholic, Berbanat. Enjoy your afternoon.